Hello and welcome to the second video of the FP3 chapter, Matrices. On the screen is a quick example to review the FP1 work on 2x2 two two matrices. Pause the video now if you've got time and give this a go. We're going to be doing this in three dimensions over the next two videos. So to find the determinant of a matrix, a 2x2 two two matrix, let's say A, B, C, D, then the determinant is A times D minus B times C. So the determinant of A here is 1 times 4 minus minus 2 times 3. And in this case we get 10. That's important for the inverse because the inverse of matrix A uses the determinant 1 over the determinant of A and then a slightly altered matrix of D minus B minus C A. So for this example, the inverse of A is 1 over 10, 4, and then a minus on the minus 2 gives us a plus 2, minus 3, and then a 1. Okay, we're going to split this process for 3 by 3 matrices into two videos because the inverse process is quite long, so this video will just focus on finding the determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix. And we do that by reducing it into three 2 by 2 determinants using a set formula this. You might recognize this when we talked about the cross product in vectors. This is on the formula sheet in a slightly different way. What we've got here is the determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix given by the lines as usual and then split into pieces that you can actually calculate. And in order to remember this, you can circle the first element, A, which goes here, then cross out the row and the column that contain that element, and use the remaining four elements to create a 2 by 2 matrix that you're going to find the determinant of. Then you do the same thing for B. Put B here, except on the middle term you need a negative so it's negative B. Cross out the row in the column containing that and use the remaining four elements as close to their order as you can get to create this determinant here. And then you do the same thing with the next element C. Goes here, cross out the row and column with C in and use the remaining four elements in the determinant here. And we'll come back to this idea in a later video. For the determinant, these are the three you need. It's very important to remember that minus sign in the middle, though. That's very easy to forget. Just as with 2x2 two two matrices, a 3x3 three three matrix is singular if it has no inverse, and that happens when the determinant is equal to 0. For the same reason, the determinant in this process is going to be a 1 divided by the determinant, and if it's 0, you can't divide by that. So here's an example. Given that A is singular, therefore the determinant of A must equal 0, and K is a constant, K coming up in two places here and here, find the possible values of K. So we need to find the determinant of A, set it equal to 0, and solve the resulting equation. Determinant of A, following the formula up here, we take the first element, 3, cross out those, and we get 1, 2, 0, k plus 3. Then we take element B, and we put a negative in front of it, cross these out, and we get minus 2, 2, 5, k plus 3. Then we take 0, cross out these two, and we get minus 2, 1, 5, 0. But of course, regardless of what that determinant equals, multiplying it by 0 is going to make it 0. But I'll put it on for completeness sake. Then 
Then we apply the two by two determinants that we did on the very first starter question at the beginning of the video. One times k plus three is k plus three minus two times zero minus two times k plus three is minus two k minus six minus two times five which is ten plus zero times minus two times zero minus one times five but of course that's going to be zero i wouldn't normally write that last one because you can already see it's going to be zero from the previous line then we've got 3k plus 9. Over here we've got minus, no we haven't, we've got plus 2k squared plus 16k. And then of course the zero. Tidying this up we get 2k squared plus 19k plus 9. And given that a is singular, that must equal zero. Moving on to solve that gives me the values of k. I can factorize this 2k plus 1 and k plus 9. Therefore, k is equal to minus a half or minus 9. And these are my two answers for k. We have two results here to finish. This is the first one. Find the determinant a, determinant b, and the determinant of a times b in order to verify this result. Feel free to pause the video and give this a go yourself, and I will work through it systematically to show that this is true. So first, determinant of a, using the green formula in the corner again, 2 times 0, 4, 2, 1, minus 1 times 1, 4 minus 4, 1, plus, but this is a minus because of the minus on the element itself, 1, 0, minus 4, 2. So we have 2 times 0 minus 8, minus 1 times 1 minus minus 16, minus 1 times 2 minus 0. We have minus 16, minus 17, minus 2, gives us minus 35. Okay, let me put that up here, minus 35. In blue, the determinant of B. Same idea. 4, 5, 2, 3. Minus 1 times minus 4, 5, 0, 3, plus 2 times minus 4, 4, 0, 2, 12 minus 10, minus 12 minus 0, minus 8 minus 0, gives us 6, plus 12, minus 16, is 2. So the determinant of the matrix A times B should equal minus 35 times 2 minus 70. But to verify that obviously I need to find A times B and then get the determinant. So I'm going to get rid of all of this and remember minus 35 times 2 here. So AB Long process of a three by three matrix multiplication, but I'm going to go through it step by step so you can see two times three minus one times four plus minus one times zero. So we've got six minus four plus zero two. Two plus four minus two four. Four plus five minus three six. A second row of A. 3, 0, 0, 1, 0, 8, 2, 0, and 12, and the final row of A, minus 12, minus 8, 0, minus 4, plus 8, plus 2, 
minus 8 plus 10 plus 3. And that should be a b. Now we need to do the determinant of this and check that it does in fact equal minus 70. Same process, green formula in the corner. Don't forget that minus. Which gives us 45 minus 84 minus 4 times 15 minus 280 plus 6 times 18, sorry that was a plus because it's minus minus 280, same here, minus minus 180 here. And I'm just going to stick that on my calculator, 2, 45 minus 84, minus 4, 15 plus 280, plus 6, 18 plus 180, and the answer is indeed minus 70. Result is verified. Well done if you did that by yourself and got the right answer. Final one, show that determinant of the transpose of A is equal to the determinant of A. Okay, here, because it's given us a general statement, I'm going to use a general matrix and let A is equal to A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. So then the transpose of A is equal to A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. We'll find the determinant of both of these and check that they are the same. Determinant of A. We've got A times the determinant of E, F, H, I minus B times the determinant of D, F, G, I plus C times the determinant of D, E, G, H as given in the green formula in the corner. Expanding this out, we're going to have A, E, I minus F, H minus B, DI minus FG, plus C, DH minus EG. Okay, I'm going to leave that there, because if we get the same thing with the transpose of A, it should be pretty easy to see that they're the same. So we've got A, E, H, F, I minus D, B, H, C, I, plus G, B, E, C, F, E, I, minus H, F, that's looking pretty good, that's the same as the one above, minus D, B, I, minus C, H, that is not the same as the one above, but we still have the next one, G, B, F, minus C, E. So this one is the same as this one. And then we've got minus B, D, I here, minus D, B, I here. So that bit is the same. And then we've got a plus d c h and here we've got a plus d c h so that one and that one are the same b f g big friendly giant there a plus b f g here so that one and that one are the same and then we've got minus c e g and minus c e g here so those two are the same so yes these are equal to one another. This is also true. So there are two results that might be useful to have in mind when you're doing questions around the determinants of 3 by 3 matrices. 
and you can practice this idea using questions from exercise 6b. Maybe I'll see you in the next video for inverse matrices.